AMD, you promised you'd stop doing this. You told us you're done with confusing naming schemes for Ryzen and skipping generations and making some laptop exclusive. Instead, all of Zen 4 would be nicely encapsulated in just Ryzen 7000. And yet, you're doing it again. Ryzen 8000 will not be Zen 5. Instead, it'll be, wait for it, Zen 4 based APUs. I know what you might be asking yourself. Wait. Aren't Ryzen 7000 chips all APUs anyway? And yeah, true, but these are supposed to be APUs APUs, as in chips with integrated graphics that are actually any good. Using the latest and greatest in RDNA 3, in fact, so that's something. And they won't be just Zen 4 based, because they'll be using both Zen 4 and the slightly upgraded Zen 4C course as well. Will this be confusing? Yes, very much so. But hey, apparently AMD wanted to give us more powerful APUs, so here they come, and they'll most likely come much earlier than you might expect. Drivers with support for these Ryzen 8000 chips are already released, and odds are they'll be announced at CES, which is just around the corner, which I'm still very salty that I was invited to. And instead, the much anticipated Zen 5 CPUs, which are supposed to be pretty groundbreaking, will instead most likely be Ryzen 9000, because apparently, AMD have not learned the lesson, but what do you think about AMD repeating these same mistakes? And what do you think about these upcoming APUs in general? Well, let me know down in the comments below. Plus, also, huge thanks to our patrons Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Ronyak, Balash Roka, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. And if you want to be an awesome person like them, then definitely check out our Patreon as well. Plus, I'm sending out Christmas cards to all Ultra patrons, so definitely do that before Christmas arrives. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.